So, I think I'm organised. Really, probably very no, not. I'm probably very, very not organised. Today's the day. I get to start planting my seeds. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. <sighs> Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the reason that we have had to wait until now to put our seeds in, in any way, shape or form, is one, the cat. Last year, we had all our tomatoes and our cucumbers in here, and she ate half of them. Yeah, that was fun. And then, so, we also, um, where we live is um, government housing. We're, we're in government housing, but we're in a very, very small flat. We're in a one bedroom flat that has very small windows. Now the windows that we do have um, don't have window sills that are very useful as far as growing seeds are concerned. And the only one really good window sill that we have is basically the domain of the cat yeah it's it's difficult um we're literally tripping over each other let alone having any kind of grow room space or grow lights or anything like that we just don't have the ability to have that um we have one shed between four flats and we've pretty much taken over that so you know that that's just the way of things at the moment it also means we're in a communal garden, which means that we are not permitted to put any kind of structure up that's permanent. So no greenhouse, no extra shed, none of that. And the polytunnel is a push. We're kind of pushing the boundaries a wee bit. Now our neighbours are fine with what we're doing. They don't have a problem whatsoever with what we're doing. And we have it in writing that they don't have a problem with what we're doing. But York City Council um, and their housing department will not permit us to put in any raised beds on grass areas or have any kind of structure that's useful. So everything that we've done so far has been done in the garden beds that were here when we got here um, that nobody else uses nobody else uses them so that's what we used last year that's where my herb garden is however when we do move because we are on the list to move we have been gold banded which means we're on the highest list of priority to move um, we will be able to dig up those herbs they will be coming with us along with the gooseberry and the raspberry plant so we have pushed the bounds as far as we can and waited as late as we can um, our last frost date is May 10th here in York um, and it being the 23rd of April you know and we've just had our last minute cold snap touch wood um, I feel that we're not so far away from the frost date that if when when the little seeds come up they're not going to be that much at risk um, I feel like they would be if I'd done it a couple of weeks earlier where they've got more leaves and the issue that we have for those who don't know when it comes down to um, frost dates and things is if our seeds, for, if, if, if the plants freeze the cell wall structure will explode. If you've, if you've ever put like, over, if you've filled up your ice tray and put it in the freezer and all of a sudden your ice is actually bigger than the cubes itself the, the water that you put in that's because water expands when it freezes so the water inside your plants if it freezes will expand and it will literally explode from the inside out which is a really horrible way to go i think personally and i don't want to put any plant through that because you know it's not it's not it's not an ending that i would want you know what i mean yeah so Anyway, we're going to get stuck into these. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Um, we don't use any expensive products, not really, because it's out of our budget at this stage. 
we can't use homemade compost because we're moving and can't have compost so we've had to buy the generic brands that are available through supermarkets and such like that but we have one bag of really good stuff or reasonably good stuff anyway okay so in this little one we're going to be putting our tomatoes and our cucumbers our little babies so we're gonna be doing I can't see because it's so blind I'm so blind here today uh, tomato Britain's breakfast tomatoes we're gonna be doing a few of them I'm going to put those in first. Um, okay. I only want a couple, I don't want loads. We do not want loads. Just going to put one there. One there. One there. It's going to kill me. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to put in six. That should be enough. Ooh. I'll put the rest of those in there. Now that's the first lot. Now the second lot is this this one, which was the 49p ones that I got from that site. Um, Greener Gardens or whatever it's called. And they're supposed to be the size of your hand. So we're going to put a couple of those in as well. Oh, come on. Pain in the butts. Gosh always surprises me at how small some of these seeds are and I'm just like but you come from such a big thing <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do six of those as well I don't want to do any more than that so even if we just get two of them come up I'm good with that so that's those all right okay the thing I have to remember as well is I have the Russian tomato and I have an ox heart that was given to me so I don't want to overdo it completely. Um, yeah, as much as I would love to. Okay, and we're going to do the cucumbers next.
Yeah. I'm doing it in a minute. I'm doing it now. I was introducing. What? Oh. So rude.